it was it was my day off <laughs> it was my day off and uh just before closing i got a message from kakak Nuro saying ningolo kante is in our restaurant and i just went i was like no are you sure <laughs> because um i thought i i'm a football fan and at that time ningolo kante is one of the best defensive midfielders in the world and uh, I, I didn't believe her I did not believe her and I said is he still there I'm coming now because I was in uh, Harrow Road oh he just paid so they're leaving I said take pictures please take pictures and um, Narol uh, said okay so once I finished in Harrow Road I went came straight back they left already but then Kakat Nora told me, showed me the photos. <clears throat> and I was like, how do you know it was him? How do you know it was him? One of the staff, a student, was working. He is a Chelsea fan. And he was just watching from afar, just trying to figure out, is that really him? Is that really him? So they took their phones out. They were Googling his face because he had a cap and he always looked down. And him and one, one other friend. And this is before closing. The restaurant was the the last order, ten o'clock. This Habib, in the end, he he asked. Once he gave the bill, he asked, "Are you Ningolo Kante?" And then his friend said, "Wow, my friend, you have good eyes." And then uh, it was him. So he got excited, took pictures. Nuru took pictures. Abawan took pictures, and that was just that was two thousand eighteen World Cup. And then he became a regular. That was the first time he came. And then Kakat Nuru noticed he came for takeaways. So he'll call maybe after a training session because the next day he would have a game. So he would call after a training session and uh, pick up a takeaway to take home. And, and Nuru said, oh, he came again. He came again, but he, he, he took a takeaway. After that, he bought a friend just two people and asked to sit at the back and then it became maybe once every two weeks either he would take away or he would dine in and when was the first time you you met him i think it was the third time he take away because i asked my sister if he does come i would like to i would like to say hello <laughs> i would like to say hello and um I think the third time is when he came after the World Cup, when France won the World Cup, when um, France won the World Cup. So I messaged him on Instagram saying, congratulations, uh, I would like to treat you for Todin's Instagram. But he came. And at that time, I think, where were we? I think we were, Malaysia. We were in Malaysia. Oh, so he came? He came. He came. And then um, I told yeah, Kakak Nuru to treat him, to blanja him for for winning the World Cup. <laughs> so after that, he came, he took his takeaway, it was a takeaway. And then everyone took pictures with him. Other staff, Nurul again. But he was so humble, he didn't want to take photos in the restaurant. He would take us to the side and say, can we take pictures here? What would he order his favourite? I have noticed there's always this, the same, the satay goreng as a starter garlic chicken was the first ever order and then he he tried the ayam masak mera and um the nasi lemak kosong and then it was just those four dishes but then lately it was just ayam masak mera and nasi lemak kosong so and the last time he came was when three days ago <laughs> two days before he flew Two days before the final of the Champions League final was um, actually his friend came at two days before and said, I'm actually Kanti's uh, friend. I saw you open and I said, um, they're planning or where to eat before he flies to the final. And I said, you know where to come because he's come with this guy, a friend before. And um, I said, you know where to come? Yeah, I'll inform him. So he came the next day. 
but he told me that he's been driving through he, he he's been driving through seeing the restaurant and we've been closed for quite some time i said because of the pandemic the lockdown we we, we don't do takeaways do what what kind of a person is he very shy very humble always looks down wouldn't look face to face unless you're talking to him, you know but uh he seems very comfortable here. My one of my um, colleagues downstairs is Moroccan, and he speaks fluent French. So when he first met him, they spoke French, and he asked, you know, um, how how come you come to this restaurant? And he's like, I like the family. It's very cozy here, you know. The food's good. 